so now we will discuss about the last two cervical vertebrae here was atlas then axis then third and fourth and fifth this is the sixth one and this is the seventh one so six cervical vertebrae we can see that the articular process and spinous process are well developed these are the articular process and the spinous process is this one is well developed lower part of the transverse process this upper part this is lower part the lower part of the transverse process is in the form of quadrilateral plate as we can see that this is quadrilateral plate the ventral spine is absent here so in this aspect here like you can see in other vertebrae these are the ventral spine which is not found here in case of cattle then foramen transversarium is present so this one is foramen transversarium is found like this you can see here then other features are similar to the fifth cervical vertebrae the things are same then the seventh cervical vertebrae so this is the seventh cervical vertebrae body of the vertebrae at its caudal aspect bear two facet so this is the body here it is bearing two facet for the articulation with first pair of rib so this rib is articulating in the cervical last cervical vertebrae also Fos, foramen transversarium is absent we can see there is no foramen transversarium at the root of the transverse process or at the base of the transverse process which is not visible the spinous process is flat and well developed we can see this is flat and well developed and form the vertebra prominence this is called vertebra prominence then transverse process is undivided this one we can see there this is the undivided so this is the anterior articular process this is posterior articular process is there so this is the characteristic features of the 6th and 7th cervical vertebrae of bovines